Hey guys, it's me, back again with another action video on this channel. Today I will be reacting to GFriend's comeback called Crossroads. Yeah, this came out yesterday. I Yesterday, or the day before yesterday, went to a Super Bowl party and uh, kinda just missed reacting to this yesterday uh, because I was still not really sober. <laughs> I'm still not feeling super well right now. Kinda a little bit sick, I would say, but uh, I'm here to react to this and also reacted to Everglow just now. But yeah, let's go. Um, uh, the last time I checked them out was actually with Fever, when they came back, it was kind of at the beginning of my channel here, um, when I started making reactions, and I also checked out Sunrise after that, actually, and I think that is it, I checked out a Yuju cover from Mermaid, that was amazing, I really like Yuju as a vocalist, I think she's definitely at least top 3 of female vocalists in K-pop, um, at least, in my opinion, I think she, I think she's might be my favorite. I'm not quite sure, but she's really amazing. Um, I also really liked Unha in Sunrise. Uh, I think, I think I looked it up on her lyrics, and I think it was Unha. So those two I really like, and um, I don't have anything else I know about them. Pretty much, I have heard some B sides, but I don't quite know which. I couldn't name them now. And uh, I don't really know the members other than these two. I guess I could not name anyone if I see them, so I'm sorry for that, but um, I'm pretty new to them, let's say that. And this is kind of my second comeback and my first comeback where I'm pretty interested in them. Um, I like Sunrise Fever was not so much my thing, it was fine, but it's not really, uh, the song didn't click with me too much. I hope this will be more um, clicking, I guess. This is also the first comeback they had after they joined um, Big Hit as a sub subsidiary Yari, subsidiary. I don't, I don't quite know how to pronounce it, but like uh, they're also kind of under Big Hit uh, with Source now, and also this was uploaded on the Big Hit Labels channel, uh, which was formerly Big Hit Entertainment for BTS and TXT only. So this is a good promotion in my eyes, and uh, let's go. Okay, that sound kind of was loud. Just a butterfly. Careful, girl. Wait, she's falling deep. Ooh, clockwork. Oh, just a clock, I guess. With a clockwork. Oh, it was a dream? God, I hate realistic dreams. I have them so much. Wake up and I'm like, did this really happen? I have to check. <laughs> just talked about it with a friend, actually, today. Interesting. Okay, since this is quite long, I, I assume there's more story to this, right? Or if, if maybe this is just an intro, I don't know. A box. Oh, with butterflies. And the one is missing who flew away, I guess. Which means it was realistic. I wonder. It's a snowball. I don't know if you call it that in English. <laughs> Is this a uh, soul? I would assume so, right? The melody sounds pretty different already, from what I know. I'm reading the lyrics a lot, so if I'm not talking too much, that's why. Ooh, damn. She smashed that glass. Is this the chorus? Oh, 
I like her, by the way. I don't know if that's an actress or if that's a member. Uh, I like that girl, though. I don't know. I don't really know what it is, but I just like her. Um, so far, I think it's about um, a metaphoric way of saying that you're at a crossroad and you're kind of not sure where to go. And you're kind of unsure about the past, about a relationship. Um, how you feel about it or how to solve it, I guess. I'm not quite sure yet. And also not quite sure if it's a friendly, like a friend relationship or if it's um, yeah, a love relationship. Not quite sure either because there was a scene where the uh, two members or girls, actresses, I don't quite know right here, right? Uh, were sitting and she was crying and a girl knocked or came in kind of and she was, like this girl was looking pretty um, annoyed at the other girls. So... I kind of got the feeling that there was a conflict between those two. Um, so it might be just a friend relationship. I don't know though. But I think this is actually the chorus, which is cool. It's a very unique chorus. Let's go on though. And tell me if this is an actress or a member. And if so, which member? It's also kind of melodramatic. The theme of the song. Right? Lost in longing, I'm standing still. And earlier, I'm um, still thinking about you when I hear the song, stuff like that. It's it's just a person at a crossroad, very unsure of how she feels, where to go, right? I guess where to go with her feelings. Here, okay, not really, but I, I, for like a small second, I had the feeling that this looked a little bit like a you, like running with the hair back, but not, not really. Now, now that I see it more clearly, not really. Six, okay. Hmm. Oh, that blue water, uh, that blue hair underwater looks cool. I will find you, okay? This butterfly is probably the metaphoric person that the main character is longing for, or sad about I guess so the butterfly flew away and she's kind of trying to fight him again so it seems like that she's not done with the person and that she still kind of wants to get him or her back or get back to him or her I guess oh yeah that's a cool image uh, the girl just now standing at the crossroads. That was a good high note, by the way. I just uh, realized. Wow, very long actually. I think it's a member though. This girl with black hair. I see her so much, like. Ooh, I like. I like that. Um, how did like kind of how do I say it? They kind of deleted the instrumental for a second. They paused it, and the uh, vocal started before the instrumental started back. That was really cool. They gave it much more power. I was about to think that they will sing without an instrumental for like a longer time than just the, the first line, right? That was really cool though. Wow. Whichever road I take, they all turn into you. That is also pretty deep. Um, kinda makes me think that the main character being at the crossroad 
kind of doesn't want to go back to the other person, but wh wherever, whatever way she goes, she always ends up back at that person. That's kind of what I get now, reading this line. I'll remember you. I'm probably just warm. Missing something really big or I don't know. I like this part. I don't think this is the chorus. I think that part before was the chorus and this is like kinda the after chorus or something. Might be super wrong though, but I really like that uh Shiny sparkly star um, part, I guess. Yeah, here. Sparkling shining stick star. Yeah. So much charisma, these two. Kind of feels like I watched an anime episode or something with the trains and all the face shots and, and them looking into the camera. It's very anime. Um, okay, I really like this though. It's, I think, I like it way more. Okay, way more is maybe too much. It's very different from um, Fever in a sense. Fever was much more upbeat, much more summer vibes. This is very winter vibes, which fits, right? Um, very winter vibes I, I get here. Um, kind of melodramatic, kind of trying to find answers. Like, it kind of gives me that feeling of a bit of thoughtfulness um, and yeah diving deep into thoughts and stuff also a bit about emotions of course so um, yeah it's a mix of of those things and I feel like it's very different from Fever but I still prefer this um, yeah it's, it's much more my type of song I guess also I think it really has some cool transitions from the P chorus into the chorus and right back into this after chorus kind of thing. Maybe it's still part of the chorus, but I think it's super good transitioned. And um, I I think it was a cool story as well. Um, the video itself ties very well with the looks. And I, I like that. So I think this is a really good comeback. I don't know what other people think about it. Um, as I said in the beginning, I'm not a person that is into G-Friend super big yet, at least. I really want to um, get more into them. And I hope, uh, yeah, that the promotion of Big Hit, in a sense, because this is uploaded on Big Hit channel, right? It's on the same channel as uh, Ego was uploaded um, two days ago, or three years ago, maybe. Um, so I think this is really good for them. I, I, I can't, I, I don't think this will be bad for them at all. It can only get better, I think. So I just hope that they will get a lot of support from the armies and... Um, the fan base of buddies will grow, right? And yeah, that's it for me though, um, for my reaction. I don't have anything much more to say. I hope you liked my reaction. If you did, please leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can also so, um, subs yeah. you can also comment a lot um, what you want me to react to next. For example, other different songs. Uh, I, I think I only know Sunrise and Fever. There might be a few B-sets I know. Uh, also check out the usual mermaid cover as I said and yeah that's it basically so suggest me in the comments what I should react to next uh, different or not I don't care and that's it for me check out my socials for updates and exclusive stuff and bye bye